Okay, so this is a video on a Harbor Freight uh, concrete mixer. It's a three and a half cubic foot mixer. And uh, I bought this two years ago, August of 2016. It's now August of 2018. And we managed to get two mixes done, and then all of a sudden it stopped mixing. Well, about five days ago, I took the cover off, uh, and what I found was that the bolt that holds this pulley on was really, really loose. It was really loose. And this little key that you see right here that little key right there had actually fallen out and was just laying down here. So anyway, I got a rubber mallet and I put it back in there and I torqued this, uh, I torqued this bolt down real good. I put thread lock, red, the red uh, Permatex thread lock on it and uh, over on this side is, is the gear, and I'm spinning this with my fingers. If normally you spin it with a motor, it's belt driven. But uh, I thought maybe I had fixed it when I did that. So we put the cover back on everything. I, I threw in 10 gallons of water into this drum and uh, turned it on and it was mixing just fine uh the day that my my son and i tried to do it whenever we got two mixes done and then all of a sudden that drum would no longer turn it was no longer turning it was just making a clicking noise and you can kind of see here you see the, the 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 bright metal on the very edge here so it turned out that i had not fixed it we went and got ready to mix some more concrete and was, the minute we threw sand in there, the drum stopped turning and the clicking noise started and uh, we couldn't even get it to start turning by hand. So I just said, well, gonna have to take it apart and I think that gear is probably stripped. Maybe the gears are worn out. Anyway, it turns out that the gears are just fine, I think. They're a little bit worn, but not worn very badly at all. So once I got that drum off, you have to take the, there's a cover. There's a cover that goes on here. And it bolts on with, with three bolts here. So one on the top and one on each side. And you cannot get those uh, bolts out of there until you take the drum off. So I took the drum off. I had trouble getting it off. It was really on there. Uh, I finally took the bolt. There's a bolt. It's a pretty good sized bolt. I have metric uh, sockets. Size 22 fits this bolt. And uh, once, once this thing, of course, screws into the drum over here, uh, screws in right there. So once you have that drum in place, just put this uh, bolt on there. And uh, once I took the bolt off and this drum was here, I wiggle it, it wouldn't come off. But I, I rotated it and and then jiggled it around and put it even put it in the down position to see if I could lift it up and I couldn't I had trouble getting it off but then after I jiggled it around and I had it all the way I had it all the way over here in the in the up position uh, wiggled it some more then I turned it like like I'm doing now turned it all the way to the to where it would be facing down and it just fell off. It's pretty heavy. 
it fell and it hit this, fell down on the concrete, rolled around. Anyway, then I was able to get this cover off. And once I got the cover off, what I found was that the bolt that holds this on was loose. And that this gear, this gear was out, well, you can see the keyway that's in there. And if you look at this side, you see the keyway, those, that keyway and that little slot have to match up. Well, this gear was way out here like this because the bolt was almost, almost to fall off. Uh, and the little key that goes in there is gone. I thought, well, it fell out here on the concrete when that drum fell. But no, it, 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 it's gone. I think whenever my son and I were mixing that two loads of concrete that day and it broke on us, probably what happened was this key just fell out in the dirt. Because looking at this cover, the cover bolts on there just like that, but it's open on the bottom. So the key probably just fell out, fell down in the dirt. This thing started just rotating, nothing, no key to hold it. And that's why the drum was not turning. So I'm making this video to try to help people who have this Harbor Freight three and a half cubic foot mixer. Uh, when you're putting it together or you're getting ready to reuse it, I strongly, strongly suggest taking that drum off. Just be careful. Don't let it fall off on you. Because <laughs> what happened when it fell off, it put a little dent in it right here when it hit the floor, because it's pretty heavy. And it chipped the paint, so eventually that paint's going to start coming off. But... Uh, so just be careful whenever you take that bolt out of there and you start wiggling it around that it is going to come off eventually. It's just don't let it fall off like it did on me. So you got to take that drum off, off of here. And uh, what I strongly suggest is that you, if you haven't already put thread lock on here, to take that little bolt off of there put thread lock on it, bolt it back down tight. Do the same thing over here. Take this cover off. Take the cover off and put thread lock on this bolt that goes in here that holds the pulley on. It turns out that was my whole problem. I'm lucky that uh, my bearings are still good. My gear is still good. The only thing that I lost is this little keyway. And on my parts list, I still have my owner's manual. On my parts list, it shows this little keyway to be a 5 by 12. Calls a flat key 5 by 12. So I'm going to see if I can get me another 5 by 12 key to put in there. Because I've lost the one that was there. And this key over here is, I've still got it, but on my parts list, it says it's a 5 by 35. So I think it's 35 millimeters, maybe. Uh, the thickness of this uh, pulley here, close to 35 millimeters, but only 5 millimeters width. And this one over here is a 5 by 12. And I got to get one of those and then put thread lock on the bolts, torque them down, put the drum back on. And I think it's going to work just fine. I, and when I bought this thing in August of 2016, uh, I poured uh, 55 cubic feet of sidewalk with this mixer and never had any problems. The problems were getting close to happening if I hadn't stopped two years ago and put it away. 
I think I would have had problems on the next on the next couple of mixes because these bolts were coming loose. Oh, and by the way, this bolt was also loose. The problem, part of the problem is these little wheels that are on here. If you're moving this thing around on concrete, there's no big deal. But if you're moving it around outside out there where there's all kinds of grass clumps and stuff. So to get it down to my horse barn, I've got to go over all those horse, all of those grass clumps. And the thing just bounces all over the place. Also, when you're mixing concrete, there's a lot of uh, vibration. So all these bolts you have to bolt this you, whenever you get this thing there's nothing put together on it you have to put everything together so i highly recommend using thread lock on everything but for sure on this bolt and on this bolt and on this bolt here because those are the three bolts that were loose uh, and caused the problem for me so once I get another keyway I think I'm gonna be back in business that's it